What did Steve Jobs say about coding in 1995? I'll read here. Everyone in this country should learn how to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. My name is Chris Annie and welcome to Internet Business Show. And today we have a coding guru with us, someone who is doing amazing stuff uh, in the edtech industry, using coding to transform the lives of kids around our country, Nigeria. And on this show, of course, you all know how we do it. We will introduce our guest. And today, we have something that has to do with programming, coding, and when I come back, I will introduce our guest properly. Let's go on this short break. Skip this ad, just as you skip buying Bitcoin at $4,000 and Ethereum at $100 in 2020. And now, Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a new all-time high in price. Don't you want to learn how to make money by trading and investing in cryptocurrencies? Take this offer, join my students who are making millions from the cryptocurrency market. My name is Chris Annie, Africa's number one crypto influencer, teacher and founder, Dabba.school. Click the link below to get this course or go to www.daba.school and get the trade and make money course. You can also download the Daba app and get the course on your Daba app. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there. Welcome back to Internet Business Show. Of course, you know what we do here. What we do here with Internet Business Show on Daba TV is to expose you to the power of the internet, what you can do with the internet, businesses that run on the internet, and how you can use the same internet to gain influence, financial freedom, and also for wealth creation. And today, I have here with me Ugo Chuku, the CEO of Niger Code Kids. Ugo, welcome to bus uh, Internet Business Show on Dava Thank Dabatini. you so much, Chris. I'm so happy to be here. I'm, I'm glad to also have you here. This is our first time talking anything about programming, kids' education, and, of course, what you're doing in the education. So, let's meet. Who is Ugo Chukwu? Okay, um, I'm the founder and CEO of Niger Code Kids Academy, um, an edtech, a startup that has been here since um, 2016. We work with kids between age 4 and 16, where we teach them tech skills in coding, robotics, and AI. Interesting. Interesting. So, Ugo Chuku, uh, you know, this whole thing, there's a little old phrase of frenzy of coding, programming, coding, coding, coding. Every, everyone is talking about what exactly is coding? Okay, in very simple terms, it's, it's how you give instructions to a computer. So, you want to write instructions to a computer in a language that it understands. So, that, so that's a language could be... PHP, it could be Java, it could be JavaScript, C++, or Python. So there are tons of them out there. Mm. So you pick one or two of them and you learn them and you, and you use them to write instructions for a computer to perform a certain task for you. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So we already know what coding is. Our class has started. This is a coding class already for us, okay? And uh, while you're watching this show, remember to share the link with your friends. Use the subscribe button. And remember, I'm going to ask questions about Internet Business Show. So in the comment section on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or anywhere we are, make sure you're learning, take your notes, write, then make sure you use the comment section. Why should every child learn coding, Ugo? Well, every child should learn how to code because, look, if you, if you look around us, almost everything we do is run by software, whether it's, an, whether it's in banking, whether it's in schooling, there's an app for almost everything that we do. You know, the phones that we use, the cars that we drive, almost everything. So it, it's, it, it makes sense that, you know, everybody should understand how these things work. Mm. You can have over 10 billion smartphones and computers in the world that talk to each other through code and you don't know how? how it works. It's, you know, it doesn't make any sense. So mm. regardless of what your child wants to do, whether, whether they want to become a doctor, a nurse, an engineer, an artist, it, it, it's not the question here. They should at least have basic knowledge of coding so that they can interact 
you know, well with all of these uh, smart uh, devices that we have around us. Interesting. And personally, how has coding affected your life as a person? Hmm. Th 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 that's a good one because for me, it changed the way I saw things. It helps you to solve any problem around you. You, mm. can, you can just see anything around you and write a short script. You can just see anything around you and write a script to solve that problem. Okay. You know, you use it to make things easier for yourself, really. So if you know how to code, you just know how to make things easier for so yourself and for those around you. So it's clear that learning how to code increases your problem-solving skill. Perfectly. Interesting. And so one of the reasons why you should learn coding is that there's... A, there, and you know the funny thing about problem-solving skill? It's actually a soft skill that people underrate over you having your... There's nothing bad in having your 2-1. Yeah. There's nothing having you going to school. But it's like these days, we have graduates who are just coming out and mm -hmm. they don't have simple problem-solving problem solving skill. And critical thinking, thinking. skills. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 those skills are really, really important in today's world, even more than the degree that you have. Interesting. Interesting. I, I am enjoying this conversation. So we know that you personally run Niger Code Kids. I've, I've visited your office in Port Harcourt. And so how long have you been running Niger Code Kids? We've been on for six years now, that's since 2016. Interesting. And so tell us, tell us about Niger Code Kids, how you operate. Tell us, tell us the mode of operation, how how, what's Niger Code Kids all about? You've mentioned it that you're the CEO before. Tell us more about Niger Code Kids. Okay, so we run from our place in Port Harcourt. We run um, in-person classes where the kids come into the building to learn. Um, we, that's how we started. Then that's for age 4 to 16. Mm. Then sometime in 2020, with all of the pandemic COVID. and everything, we had to also switch or add online classes mm. to what we would do. So we have now both the in-person classes, we have online classes. Then we also have video-based, you know, um, we also have video-based courses that, um, uh, that um, kids can, you know, can buy or, the, or that their parents can buy and, um, and they you use them to learn at home, like a self-study pack. Mm, mm. So that's how we run. And that one is, is for age four to, four to 16 as well. Interesting. Interesting. So what was your motivating factor behind Niger Code Kids? Right. In 2016, I was just online, you know, trying to browse and, you know, just see things online. And I, and I just found out that the US, the UK, um, China, they were beginning to champion for coding to be taught in schools mm. as young for kids as young as four and five. And it just dawned on me that uh, that that our parents in Nigeria would also want this same opportunity mm. for their kids. For their kids. Mm. They, they, they wouldn't want to have to you know, go to the US mm. to be able to learn these things. So, I, I, so I, I, I thought to myself that if we can can bring this thing down here, mm. then it will make sense as well. So mm. that's how we started. Interesting. So you saw an opportunity on the internet and decided we could replicate the same thing that's happening exactly. in developed countries yes, exactly. right here in Nigeria. Yeah. So, uh, um, so I want to ask again: uh, Why did why why coding itself as a twenty sixteen? Why why did you just focus on coding alone? 2016. Because that was a skill. Because it looks early too. You yes, look like you played early. Yes, it is. Because, well, that was a skill I had already. Mm. And for me, at that time, I had just quit my job mm. and I was trying to go into business. Interesting. So I was trying to, um, you know, earn from the skills that I had already. So when I saw that opportunity, I was mm. like, this is it. Interesting. I just dive into it and, and it's been good so far. Interesting. Knowing that, knowing that um, it's not even a saturated niche like that so far, what has been the challenge? You know, because coding, teaching kids coding is kind of new in this part of the world. Yes. I, I have to say that. Even, they, well, even in 2022, as back as 2016, you should be like, guy, you're right. speaking Greek, man. Exactly. You say you want to do I think all the, well, anybody that hears about a gig or a programmer must be somebody with eyes like this and carrying bag and laptop. 
and you're bringing this into a 4 to 16. So what were the challenges you faced trying to do that? Just like you said, it was as if we were speaking Greek. <laughs> See, a lot of the parents out there, it was almost like it cannot be possible. Hmm. You know, because they maybe may have done it in school and they knew how hard it was. So they mm -hmm. were like, no, if me, as an adult... Mm. struggle to learn it how then are you saying that a child of four will come and learn how to, how to <laughs> so it was a problem so mm. we had to really talk a lot we, we, we had to first of all um inform and educate the parents mm. first before they would you know release their kids to mm. um to come and learn how to cook. so let's 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 take a look at this now what what did the the I want to get your experience like, okay, uh, and I wrote here, what was the turnout for parents at the beginning when you started in terms of how many kids turned out, or what, what were you using to market them, and what was the reality like for you, and how did you build on that? So, uh, it's a four in one <laughs> question, but don't worry, let's start with, how did you market it to parents then? Okay, as I said, I was new to doing any, any kind of a business, so mm. this was kind of my own experiment mm. of going into entrepreneurship mm. so i knew nothing mm. so i actually printed you know flyers mm. and went on the road wow in traffic wow i went to schools when they came to pick up their kids and i was sharing flyers one by one i printed thousands of flyers and i would go every morning in traffic and share these flyers you know then wow nobody you know um they just to be flyers and all that. So on the day we are going to start our summer classes, me and my my wife uh, and my um, my teammates, we just sat down there with wait. hope <laughs> and just trying to wait to see if Who will come if somebody would come. And gradually, one parent showed up with two kids. You wow. know, one person showed up. One person oh. showed up. And by the end of the summer. About six weeks long, we had about 20 kids in total. So that was how we started. Wow. This is an inspiring story. Uh, you know, entrepreneurship can be very, very <laughs> crazy. Because how do you just go to people's share flyer and you're waiting? <laughs> and you're, I'm, I'm sure your heart will be your beating. Heart was found my like, God, that I is not fair. Somebody. I, just, exactly. I, I hope that somebody would come. And the know? moment one person That's shows so up, that is it. Okay, and, and this, is, this is a motivation to every entrepreneur out there or anyone building a business on the internet or even offline or anywhere, okay? I don't even think anybody should be building a business without the internet today. Even if it is what are you selling, you should even have a website or yeah. for it. And uh, what Ugo just shared with me now is so inspiring because take a look at someone had to, the CEO himself, and this wasn't even the era of Facebook where you could blow up things on Facebook ads and all that. Mm -hmm. You had to take it offline in the street of Port Harcourt and flyers and had to wait. That's the place of work and the place of belief. Okay, and, and when we come back from this short break, we'll dive deep into the old coding and programming as a career and how you should go into it, how to get started on this show. We'll be right back. You see, making money online begins with a desire. And if you have that desire, you can take care of the rest. Download the Daba mobile application, take free courses, and learn how to make money online. It's easy and it's free. Visit the Google Play Store, download, and start learning. Welcome back to Internet Business Show live here on Daba TV. I'm sure you're using the subscription button, notification tab, and you are also commenting. And let me know what you've been learning so far. One of the most inspiring time in this show or in this interview I've had with Ugochugu is that uh, he had to start with sending flyers in the street of Port Harcourt, the traffic, and waiting on that day with his wife and his team. And one person showed up and they ended up having like 20 in that six weeks summer class. Whatever the vision is, start. Go out there and work and someone is waiting to receive that idea and that vision you're starting with. So, Gochuku, it's been an interesting time with you. So, as of 2022, how many kids has Niger Code Kit impacted from the build-up from the start? Well, across our online classes, 
our video courses, our in-person classes, we've done over 5,000 kids already. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's a good one. And what strategy are you applying now to even reach more kids? Oh, um, mainly it's true. Um, it's true. Uh, Instagram and Facebook. Okay. So we run ads a lot these days, and I have a content team, a full, you know, a full um, standby team mm. that creates a lot of content online. So mm. that way, we we um, we get more clients, mm. and we. But it's mainly through ads on Instagram and Facebook. Interesting. Interesting. So you want you want your business to grow, whatever. The lessons here, okay. Uh, so let's 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 look at this now. There are people watching today, and they've been hearing all these coding things. Mm. We're not even just talking about kids or a, online alone, okay. We know people are watching today, and they're like, okay, see, I've been hearing this coding. I want to get into tech. I want to get into coding programming. What's your advice for a young person who wants to start a career? In coding or programming, how should the person start? Okay, there are um, a couple of ways that you can start. You can attend a class, you can pay for, for a class, but but most importantly, I would say go on YouTube. That's okay. one powerhouse. Like almost everything that you want to ever learn, you can learn on YouTube for free. So go on YouTube and search, you know, coding for beginners. Mm. Just search for that and take it step by step. A lot of content will show up. Pick one. Mm. Pick one. Even if you start and it doesn't make sense, watch it again. Go over it again. It mm. will make sense. Mm. Don't be scared. Tech is not that hard. Just start slowly and be patient with yourself. Mm. But I, I said again, then again, find a mentor or someone that you can you know, bounce ideas off, someone that can guide you when you're stuck and all that. But mm. those are the ways that you can start how you can start to go into tech. Ugo, uh, people who are watching you now, I'm sure you've mentioned something very strategic here. Go on YouTube. Start with the whole coding for beginners. And there are people who are watching and saying, you are a coding expert or you're a programmer and all that. They want to have you as their mentor. Are you open to that? Have <laughs> <laughs> You know, the truth is that it's been a long time I wrote code. I'm busy running at the business now and, <laughs> it, and it's taking all my time it's doing right. all of the content and marketing and mm. trying to build the vision and everything. Mm. So it's been a long time I wrote code. So I may not have all the time, uh, but I can guide you on what on where to so go do. and look for good uh, you know, okay. stuff. But to follow him on Facebook. <laughs> follow him on Facebook. I see a lot of his content that he brings out. And Ugochuku is one of the guys in the in, in this country hammering on parents. I see you keep shouting on parents. <laughs> Teach your children code. As your parents are like, eh, we need use code and do this. Uh, is it a, uh, see, do you know what it means when a child is small and start building automation machines, robotics, those things like that on their own? My kids, you know, started at three. Please tell us, please tell us. I have um, three kids, two girls, um, twins. They are six years old now and my boy is four. Once they were three years old, I, I pushed them into the classes, and 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 I can't wait to see what they turn into because they are now so good at what they do mm. at that stage that I can't imagine in the next three four years what they would be doing. Mm. So it's for me, it's just surround your kids around tech. Mm. If a child is born in China, they wouldn't struggle to speak Chinese. They just speak it because that's what is around them. Hmm. So if a child is around tech or coding, they will just know how to do it as a natural thing. Hmm. So as a parent, find opportunities to surround your kids with you know, technology. Everything around us, you cannot deny it, hmm. is just run on technology. True. So if your child is not in that area, and again, it doesn't matter... We're not trying to preach that everybody must become a programmer. Exactly. That's not what we are preaching. We are saying that if your child wants to become a doctor, you should be a doctor that understands technology. Technology. Your child wants to become an artist. Mm. You should be an artist that understands technology, technology. Because it will boost whatever they are doing. It will make them more 
to, to make them more more uh, um, attractive yeah. even to employers yeah. or they can even have the skills to start their own business in future mm. so that's what you should do you i want to you, the last time i was with you in port Harcourt, you were sharing something with me about things your children are started doing mm. i know you mentioned you you just passed it by can you just give probably a practical example of something they've been able to do in computer what they've been able to handle or how they handle things and all that so that because You've actually answered the question I was supposed to answer. What is that thing you would say to parents that will get them into, say, okay, my child, go and learn programming. I know you want to be a lawyer, mm. but imagine if you're a lawyer that understands technology and you build a law tech firm that now says, okay, you know, don't, I, I shared this idea one day with someone. I don't know if, I sh if I've shared it, but it came to my head. Now imagine that you, you don't know where to find lawyers and you can build an application where you can just, film. I'm looking for a lawyer, lawyer find lawyers, lawyers, and you just see lawyers somewhere. Oh, this lawyer is in Lekki, I can have a meeting with him. I want to register my company. I want to, because when I was starting my company, for instance, I, one of the mistakes I made was I didn't bring in a legal advisor. I just had him passive there. So I felt I knew everything, and I was <laughs> doing business with some people on trust. And guess what I was doing? I was giving shares to everybody, like, okay, based on what you, and no lawyer to advise me. Mm. A year after in business, the thing cost me. I paid dearly for it with my money, but imagine people want to start something now and they need a lawyer. Or you have a case somewhere in the police station and you can just find a lawyer. And maybe just find a lawyer, they'll come. And the next thing... So if a lawyer understands technology, you can become a lawyer who understands technology that goes on to build an application and boom, you know, you can, you can leverage on it. And people are... Lawyers are on your platform paying yes, subscription yes, and people yes. are also on your platform paying subscription. And you have money, money like that. Platform-based business are doing. So let us know what those children are doing and those words that you used to attract parents in. Okay, so um, um, the thing is, my, 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 my twins, you know, they can build their own games. Wow. You know, game, and it's one thing for a child to know how to play games, you know, but being able to think of an idea of a game in your head mm. and go ahead and use, you know, Scratch to build, build your own game and play. You wow. know, you, you really can't quantify, the, you know, the joy that we, that, that we get. So we're, we've turned, I've turned my kids from just being kids that just uh, consume, you know, technology to, to kids that. that actually produce their mm. own, te you know, um, technology. Te uh, technology. So that's what, as a parent, you should be thinking about interesting interesting imagine being able I'm, I, I don't even know how to build games and, <laughs> and people who are just six are building games and you know the point thing about the game market uh, while i was upstairs i was showing one of my friends who, who came around the ceo of obx and i was telling him that see you one company in london just raised 116 million series b or series c mm. a gaming company and the game they are playing is what uh, you know, the games like and and that's where the future is it's even happening already okay so um what is the future of niger kids niger cool kids going to be like and what are kids going to stand to benefit from this brand yeah so our goal is to be at the forefront of technology so what and whatever kind of um, technology um um comes up we make sure that we are able to give the younger ones access to it to learn how to use it whether it's you know in crypto or blockchain mm. or all of that we want to make sure that they have opportunity to learn that so we are still based in port Harcourt, and even though we have um kids that join us online mm. from from even the us and the uk and all that so we want to spread even more mm. you know go out more so that we can give more people access to what we do interesting and before we go on that short break, where's the best place to find Niger Cool Kids? Our website, application, social media handles. Okay, and all great. That. So you can find us online at www.nigercodekids.com, just as it's spelled on my shirt. 9JA Codekids.com. One word. And you can also find us on Instagram, on Facebook, same name, Niger Code Kids. So your programs run online frequently and. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, enroll your child. Go get go get the coding skill today. Go learn how you can uh, maximize. Imagine your child is building games, softwares. Uh, who knows? You feel me, Papa Bill Gates tomorrow, <laughs> exactly. or Mama Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now imagine. Imagine you now go for those women meetings, 
and why you're in the women's <laughs> meeting in, in, in Catholic church in, in Enugu and uh, uh, the, the, the picture of your son comes out. Okay, look at the and latest you know, thing. If you think about it, these names that you just called now, mm. they all started as kids. Interesting. They said built exactly. Max 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 Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, Emilon Musk. Mm. They all started learning how to code True. as kids. True. No wonder they are where they are now because it's a part of who they are. True. They cannot think about anything without thinking about a software technology to, to solve that to problem. solve it. True. True. This is true. Okay, and we are advocating for this. We are advocating for this. And see, let's even leave the part of software as people are building. We need a new generation that has good thinking, critical thinking, critical thinking problem, problem solving. solving, creativity. People that when you make a Facebook post, nobody's asking you, I'm interested, instead of clicking the link. <laughs> they know how tech works. I'm, so, I'm sure you suffered that a lot. My brother, it's not easy. <laughs> We'll go on this short break and we'll come back. It will be the final lap with bonus questions we have for Gucci. It has been an interesting time. Let's go on this short break. One trader will win 1 million Naira this month and it could be you. Trade the most volume of Naira pairs on OBX to increase your chances of winning. Remember, you can deposit Naira from your bank account and buy Bitcoin, Wakanda Inu, USDT, BUSD and Shiba Inu on OBX. Download the app to enjoy smooth trading. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back to Internet Business Show. This is the final lap of the show. And if you've been here with us, do let me know in the comment section that I joined and I've stayed till now. And uh, please, I have to tell the production team, remind us, I'm going to be asking questions on Twitter, okay? So, what should you do right away? Make your comment here, okay? Put a comment in the comment section, what you've been learning in this class, and go on Twitter. Share with me five, six things you've learned, okay, in this internet business show with Ugochuku. Share with me, tag me, okay? And I have a prize for the top five people who are doing that. So let me know right away. Tag me. Tag your friends. Share it. Go share this link on your WhatsApp. Start others on Twitter. Tell people what you're learning. And let parents learn this thing today. So, Gojuku, we're going to move on to bonus question session. This one, we're going to ask you. <laughs> and you only use... You're going, we're going to use... We're going to test your programming knowledge here. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this time we are giving you. Once you ask the question, you're ah, not thinking much. Oh, help me. Oh. You're not thinking much. You <laughs> are going to answer straight. And if you fail it, uh, 100 bitcoin, you're going to ah, say please, <laughs> give to me. us. Okay, so bonus question Who is your favorite tech guy? Elon Musk. Oh, interesting. What song will be the soundtrack of your life? I'm done my clocking. Yes, I can. Oh. What is a lie you often told as a teenager? That my dad had plenty cars. <laughs> <laughs> so how many cars did he finally have? <laughs> he had two. I always feel like he had one best like that. Nothing, nothing, just to feel among my friends, you know. <laughs> okay. So what never fails to make you happy? Being around my kids. Oh. Interesting. So, what is the first thing you notice when meeting new people? Uh, I think it's how um, confident or jovial they are. And like, I try to note, you know, if this person feels a confidence or not, just by seeing them, I can tell. Interesting. It has been an exciting time with Ugo Chuku, the CEO of Niger Code Kids, and... I've enjoyed myself on this show, and I'm sure you've learned something. But could you have a parting words for us at Daba TV and what we're doing and what we're building at Daba School? Ugochuku is also a student at Daba School, learning crypto. So you see that this guy preaches what he does. He's vast, he's, he wants to learn everything that <laughs> will make us build bigger than Elomox. Elomox is coming for you. Okay, but he's a student at Daba School taking the trade and make money course. And my very good friend, too, in the tech industry and all that. And Ugochuku, any parting words for us at Daba TV, at Daba School, and what we're doing? I really love what you guys are doing here. And I just know that it's the future. Anybody that wants to learn, if you're just there and you're watching us, 
become a lifelong learner. Be someone that learns always. Mm. And you can find anything that you want to learn on Daba School, on Daba TV. There's so much there's so, there's so much information and value here that will change will change your life for good. Thank you so much, Uluchuku. And uh, we too are sending our greetings back to your kids. Tell them we'll come and steal them. So they'll come and start <laughs> building <laughs> games for us. All right, guys. Uh, till I come your way next week, okay? Keep on succeeding. You can build a business on the internet and succeed. The internet has so much wealth. For it. Go to www.school, get a course, um, learn something new. Make sure you keep watching Daba TV. We have so much. And of course, this Sunday, Wealth Creation Series. I do every Sunday. I don't miss it. I teach people how to create wealth and how to get financial freedom. Till, your, till I come back your way next week, your host, Chris Annie, God bless you.